Hello there, this is Leo Ochoa from the CNF Inbound Integration team at Tech Engineering in Red Hat and today we are going to demonstrate how to install upstream brand operators for 5G telco deployments. To do so, we will start by installing the prerequisites, then we will create the index catalog for the run operator from scratch. Later on, we are going to configure the disconnected OpenShift clusters, and lastly, we are going to deploy the run operators into that environment. As commented during the intro, let's start by installing the prerequisites. First, we installed the container tools module, which includes Podman, Scopio, among other tools. The Podman utility will be used to create the container image index. Meanwhile, Scopio will be used to inspect the container image bundles looking for tags and other information. We need to install also YLIPC, which is a dependency of the OPM tool. Finally, let's install the OPM CLI, which is a tool that helps us to initialize a catalog in the new file-based format, also renders the run operator records into it, and validates the catalog. Let's now proceed to create the run operator's catalog index. To do so, let's first clone the skeleton index structure. Let's now take a look to the tree. As we can see, there are going to be three folders and many files within. There is going to be one folder for the cluster group upgrades operator, one for the hardware event proxy operator, and the run operator index folder is where we are going to store the index file. Let's now populate the run catalog index with the package definition of the cluster group great operator and the hardware event proxy operator. We need to add channel entries for each one of these bundles as well. Now, in order to render the operator's bundle into the new index, we need to first look up for the available task for that bundle. For that, we are going to use a Scopio. Once that you know the available tags in the bundles, let's now render the operator bundles using the 4.10.0 tag. A very important step before building the container image index is to first validate the created index. Once this is done, let's build the container image index and push it to our organization registry. Optionally, you are now safe to remove the generated artifacts. Before the mirroring tasks and the installation of the new catalog source into our disconnected environment, let's first take a look to the current cluster. As you can see, we got only three sources now. 
the certified operated index, the community operated index, and the rehat operated index, which were mirrored before. Let's now take a deeper look also to our disconnected registry, which in our case was implemented using Quay. As you can see, we got different namespaces, one dedicated for the OCP release images, and one dedicated for the OLM contents images. After we finish this part of the demo, we are going to see here also the run operators. Let's start this part by installing the OC Mirror utility. This OpenShift CLI plugin is available as a technical preview feature since OpenShift 4.10 and it enables us to manage the mirroring task in a declarative way. Now that we got OC Mirror, we can optionally inspect the created RAM catalog index. To do so, let's first list all the available operator packages in the created catalog. Now we are going to list all the operator versions in that index for both operators, for the cluster group upgrade operator as well as for the hardware event process operator. And we are going to corroborate that those are the same that we have defined before during the index creation. Let's now proceed to create the configuration file of OSE Mirror plugin, which is called the image set config. Here we are going to define in a declarative way not only the disconnected registry under the image URL key, but also we are going to be mirroring the operators from the catalog previously created, the two packages defined, as well as the corresponding channels. Once that we got the image set configuration in place, it's very easy to start the mirroring task. A nice recommendation here is we can have this task run periodically as a cron job and that way we can have our disconnected local registry always updated. As an outcome of this operation, the OC Mirror plugin will write for us the catalog source and the image content source policy YAML file. In this scenario, the catalog source is a collection of the RAN operator's metadata. The OLM will use this catalog source to build the list available of, oper of RAN operators in the console. Let's take a look to the generated catalog source YAML file and apply that object to the disconnected cluster. Let's check in the bottom left part of the terminal the available catalogs in our disconnected cluster. Let's also inspect the image content source policy. Once this resource is updated into the disconnected cluster, all nodes from master workers are going to be updated and rebooted. This process is automatically handled by the machine config operator and it could take some minutes. Let me speed that for you. Once the image content source policy object is updated across all the cluster nodes, let's now take a look to the new catalog sources and run operators from the OpenShift console. Before installing the RAM operators into the disconnected cluster, let's first take a look to the current state of installed operators. Once everything is set, installing the RAM operators is as simple as creating the corresponding OLM objects. In order to deploy the cluster crop upgrades operator, we just need to create the operator subscription. 
for the case of the hardware event proxy operator, since it is a namespace operator, we need to create a namespace, the operator group, and its corresponding subcreation as well. Once these operator resources are created, let's just watch the run operator's deployment from console. And this is how upstream run operators can be deployed in a disconnected environment for 5G telco deployments. Thanks for watching.